on this week's news update. A new recycling solution for mountain trash. Penguins that nap thousands of times a day. And a road that charges electric cars on the go. First up. Design company Superlocal has found a new solution to removing and recycling plastic trash left in Nepal's Sagarmatha National Park, which is home to the Himalayas mountain range and where it is estimated that 200 tonnes of waste is left every year. To remove trash collected from the mountainside, Superlocal created the Carry Me Back bags, which are filled with plastic to be recycled and offered to locals and tourists to carry down the mountain to the collection point as they leave the Sagarmatha National Park. The trash is then flown to Kathmandu for recycling. Some of the plastic goes to large recycling plants. But bottle tops are tricky to recycle, so instead they are used to create souvenirs, like Himalayan mountain peaks or pebble designs for tourists to take home. Now, their sustainable project has won a Dutch Design Award for Best Product. Designers hope these colourful souvenirs will remind tourists of their adventure and their responsibility to the environment while helping to clean up the mountainside. Up next, a team of researchers has discovered that to get the rest they need when nesting, chinstrap penguins take thousands of very short naps a day. To estimate their sleeping patterns, they monitored 14 penguins using data loggers placed on the birds' backs, allowing them to record the penguins' brain activity and movement. Researchers estimated that in an hour they took, on average, 600 naps of approximately four seconds, and over the course of a day, around 10,000 very short naps. They also found that penguins would sometimes rest one half of their brain, while the other half stayed alert. Researchers believe that the birds could have developed this method of sleeping to help them protect their young from predators. Now researchers hope that their work will help them to better understand how different animals have evolved to get the sleep they need. And finally, Detroit has become the first city in North America to install a public road that can charge electric cars and vehicles. As the number of electric vehicles increase, finding places to charge them and planning journeys can be tricky. So engineers at Electrion have created a wireless charging system that can be placed under the road's surface to charge electric vehicles. The technology has already been installed and tested in Europe where vehicles were charged both when parked or on the move. Coils in the road wirelessly send power to a receiver on the cars, which charges their battery. Electrion hope that their new technology will mark a turning point in greener road travel, enabling electric cars and buses to travel further on smaller batteries. And as a result, potentially encourage more people to drive electric vehicles. That's all for this week. We'll see you after the break. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Twig Science Reporter. Don't forget to sign up at twigsciencereporter.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel at Twig Science Reporter so you never miss our weekly updates. See you next time.